Um, well, I've been a gamer since I was a kid. I've always loved uh, mostly PC games, but um, so yeah, it was uh, really natural to me. The thing I love about Assassin's Creed is what I love about a lot of games. It's that ability to immerse yourself in a different time period. And, you know, like, I mean, I was walking around Paris last night and having played Assassin's Creed Unity, I felt this, you know, this urge to like climb the buildings, which you're not supposed to do. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's something that has always appealed to me because I love history. And with Assassin's Creed, it, history is really your playground. And that really appealed to me about the games. I, the interesting thing is, I, I think they do, but I think there aren't many people who really know about them or really, because sometimes when I, uh, I do a lot of visits in schools and I'm talking to large groups of students and I ask them who's heard of this event uh, and there aren't that many kids who've heard of it, which uh, is kind of sad to me because it really is still relevant today with we still have the same kinds of racial tensions. We still have the, you know, people who mistrust the government. We, it's all the same um, issues that are still going on today. No, they're brand new characters. Um, there are, the whole idea behind the series was that it would appeal to teens. And so the characters are teens who are sort of caught up in this conflict between the assassins and the templars if you're familiar with the with the games and we have six main characters the 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 primary main character his name is Owen and his father was convicted of uh, a bank robbery in which uh, a murder took place and so he is sent to prison and he dies in prison Owen believes his father was innocent and he wants to prove it somehow and he thinks that if he uses the animus to somehow go into his father's memories that he'll be able to exonerate him. Um, you know I usually when I again when I visit schools and I talk to young readers, teens, um, I ask them you know who would be an assassin and who would be a Templar? And most of the time, they all say they want to be assassins. Um, because free will, that sounds really good. But then I pose the question to them, okay, but what if someone is going to use their free will to hurt someone that you love? Do you still want that person to have free will? And suddenly, it's a much more complicated question. <laughs> 